Hello YouTube! So it's time for a video again. Uh, I'm doing this one uh, as we speak like, but the video I've been doing is taking me a while to uh, film. This is Botox My Red Devil, and that's his uh, girlfriend, uh, female Dovi. Let's put some pellets in. So she's got the pellets. Anyway, what I want to explain... Uh, well, I've had big problems with Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie. My regular viewers will know about Mr. and Mrs. Wolfie. Anyway, Mr. Wolfie had a really, really, really swollen eyeball. So I'll uh, tell you what went on and we'll get on it and show you what I did to, to uh, hopefully make the eyeball better. Let's get, let's get on it. Hello YouTube, this one's I'm not so uh, jolly and happy on this one. I've noticed today that Wolfie, can you see that on his eye? His eye's all bulging out, so I'm uh, in the middle of doing a massive water change and I'm going to treat him with uh, Epsom salts. I don't think there's anything wrong with the water. Oh, oh I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think what it is, is the uh, been fighting like spawning and fighting, as as they always do. Come on, turn around. Let's have a look at your poorly eye. So the plan is to like to do like a sixty seventy percent water change and treat with uh, one tablespoon of Epsom salts for every ten gallons, which helps to. Uh, can you say it? There's his eye. Yeah, I think I think he must have whacked. She's either bit him on the eye or he's whacked it on some of the bogwood rocks and pots. Apologise for the glare, but anyway, it's like this is an emergency. I just have to do a quick one. So I'm uh, halfway through doing the water change, and then I'm going to get the Epsom salts in. But I don't think he's I don't think he's poorly. Because my water's always I always look after my water, and he's well looked after. I'm sure he's uh, bumped bumped into something. So hopefully he'll make a full recovery. So here we go, I've, I've took about, well I reckon that's like about 70-75% so I've took the water out now I've just got to get it topped up and get that uh, Epsom salts in like I just said, the Epsom salt supposedly reduce swelling so I better get on it and get the old boy uh, back into shape So this is the Epsom salts I use uh, magnesium Epsom salts is magnesium sulfate, not to be confused with normal aquarium salt. And you've got to also make sure it says 100% pure, nothing, nothing added. Because uh, a lot of the Epsom salts on the market has additives in, because people use it for soaking in the bathtub and softening your feet, hard skin on your feet. It's got numerous uses. So you always got to make sure it's... Uh, Natural, 100% pure magnesium sulfate. So what, what I'm going to do now is dissolve it in uh, hot water and add it to the aquarium. So I've got it all measured out. Uh, like I said, it's one tablespoon. One tablespoon for every uh, 10 gallons. Which uh, seems quite a lot, so that's all what's going into my tank. I mean, a lot of people dissolve it in aquarium water, but that takes forever. So I'll boil the kettle and I'm going to uh, dissolve it in uh, hot water. It still takes quite a while, but it's a lot quicker. One, one uh, kettle full of boiling water is not going to make a lot of difference in the 250, 300 gallon tank. Anyway, let me get on it. Right, a couple of hours has gone by now and I've got the tank, the, the Epsom salts are in the uh, tank. The tank's all filled up, and uh, like I said, a couple of hours have gone by to let him settle. And uh, also, the sun's gone down, so there's a lot less glare now. So I want to see if I can get uh, a better shot at this swollen eye. Now, can you see it? You can see it better when I get a head-on shot. But that, I think it's been caused by f uh, fighting, because they're always spawning and fighting. Well, this is what I bloody hope. I'm going to be absolutely gutted if something happens to him. If he was to lose an eye or something, I'd still, I'd still keep him. 
Oh, Wolfie. I just want to sh get some shot. At That's the... That. Can you see the other eye on the other side? He won't turn round. Here. It looks like it's nearly it's come out of the socket. So the Epsom... There we go. That's a good shot of it. Can you see that? The Epsom salt is supposed to reduce the swelling. So what I'm going to do is like... Uh, just keep a close eye on them. If I do, when I do water changes, if I take 50% of the water out, I'll add 50% of the salt in to keep the salt, you know, level. And I'll come back to this in a, a few days and add to this video. Hopefully, there'll be an improvement. I'd be really gutted if it's gone the other way. There's a good shot. Anyway... So, like, I'll uh, hang up now and uh, I'll add some on to this later. So now it's uh, about a week and a half on. And have a look at that. This is his, uh, the eye what was swollen. And that I reckon that Epsom salts has worked wonders. I reckon that's uh, 90, 99% uh, cure, don't you? Anyway, uh, these big big cichlids have huge eyeball eyeballs anyway. Like, you've got uh, an Oscar, a big Oscar, or a Severum. They have uh, big eyes as well. When they get big. So this female, she's got big eyes. So you can see how they're prone to getting injuries. If they catch it on a rock or something... You know, it's going to get, get injured. Anyway, the Epsom salt has reduced the swelling. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I reckon in another week or two, you'll not even know he uh, damaged his eye. So I uh, hope this has been a bit of, a, a bit of interest to you. I'll, get, I'll uh, give him a bit of a... Come on, Wolfie. Show us your teeth. He ain't got many, he's got one there at the bottom. He ain't got many teeth because he, uh, he knocks them out when he uh, barges up the glass light. I wish I could give him a bigger aquarium. Anyway, let's, uh, I'll put a mussel in. Right, I'm going to feed him on uh, mussel today, like, uh, he likes his mussels, don't you, old wolfy, mate? Good minute, and then he got me. There you go, a bit of mussel. Couple of more bit of mussels. The female struggles to get some. I've, I've chucked some more in. He's gonna like uh, pig out on them. Anyway, I don't normally do this every day. It's better to treat to uh, feed them on uh, pellets. If you if you uh, feed feed them on pellets, you know they're gonna get all the nutritional value. They're going to get uh, vitamins, minerals, and all the uh, stuff what they need. Anyway, because like, when you feed them on uh, treats, they can get very, very, very addicted to it. So just do it now and again. Yeah, I, put, I put two in. They both got one. That's good, isn't it? He got one and she got one. Normally, normally he gets the uh, lion's share. I hope this is in focus. So, like, uh, like, let's go back, like, his eye. No, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. As I said, I, you know, like, he could have quite easily lost an eye. But if he did, I would have kept him anyway. Because he's getting a right big old boy. He's uh, 20 inches now. But I've had him a long time. He's homebred. I've had him a long time. It's took me a while to get him up to 20 inches. And like I said, isn't it strange how these cichlids get big eyeballs when they, when they uh, grow to adults? You get a juvenile, you get a juvenile, if you get a juvenile dovi, the eyeballs will nearly be flat on the face. Probably the same, I haven't got an Oscar at the moment, probably the same with an Oscar. But you watch when, when they're adults, their eyeballs are huge. 
So the obviously, I think they're going to, they're prone to injury from bashing up rocks and uh, and uh, you know rocks and bog wood and all that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm bloody waffling on again, aren't I? Come on, Wolfie. Say bye boy. We're going there, mate. You've had you've had the limelight, mate. Anyway, I uh, just want to thank, thanks, thanks all my subscribers and all the people who watch the videos. When I watch my home videos back, I think, oh my god, I can't post that, can I? It's rubbish. But uh, let's go round the end. I'm actually uh, getting quite a few viewers and followers, like so, like. Uh, I, I want to thank everybody for watching and for your support. So, uh, as long as you like watching, I'll, I'll keep uh, posting these videos from time to time. Anyway, let's wrap this one up. I hope the hips and salts, uh, if anybody wants to try it, I hope it works for you like it did for me. Thank you uh, for watching. Thanks to the subscribers. Until next time, ta -ra!